It is rumor. I heard an old merchant in the tavern the other night. He was talking about a strange lagoon he's seen on his way down from the glimmering. Directly north if you're along the coast. Not that I'd go anywhere near it, mind you. Save. Let's pick some locks. Maybe. Oh, look at that. We got some ladies. Dress. Uh, top hat. For people buy this because I got a lot of junk. See nerve pills. Uh, Virgil. what is it that you take a dress? Oh, he took the axe. I guess if you want the axe. Oh. Uh, I don't care about that. Everybody in here. Get all this pick, picking all these, and it's not going to have anything in these, is it? Lame. All right. Oh, the door's locked. Wait for this guy to get out. He'll open it for us. Sorry. Oh, yeah. about ready to pick it. Hurry up, little man. Oh, I jammed it. You said I was successful. Oh, it was already unlocked. We got a pool, an indoor pool. This is high class. All right, let's get out of here.
strange lagoon along the shore. North. Okay, there's the town. Take a look at the graveyard because I love the stones. Life is Jet. Oh, we've already read that one. Told you I was sick. Owen Moore. Gone away, Owen Moore, than he could pay. <laughs> Both the Raven nevermore. Rest in peace. Grim Death took him without a warning. All at night, all right. Here lies Johnny Yeast. Pardon me for not rising. <laughs> oh, Philip Misk. Precious one, we'll meet again to be as one. Another one. What? Same person with the name before. I you saw that. What did I find? I want to get this other grave too, but... Kind of full. What is it that you want? Oh, Virgil. Let's see. We'll give you the head. All right, take a look at the book. Oh, we found it. Oh, there it is. I dedicated my dearest Raven. I would gladly face these horrors for a thousand others for only another moment with you. I'm not going to read all that. New way. All right. We still need a gift shop, right? Or do I need that anymore? Well, now that I got to pick locks, I am an evil man. What's wrong with the door? Ask you a question. Any newsworthy happening? You noticed the train that I moved into town recently. He's certainly a rude man. I'm an evil man. Um, here's the gift shop. Carter. See, a man of great wisdom stands before me and honored to make an acquaintance of such an impressive technologist. How may I assist you? Uh, you've been most kind. Anything more I can do for you? Now let's trade. Um... I don't think you need anything from it. Wait, what do you have? Mm. Really nothing. Nothing at all. That's your question. What can you tell me about the Dark Elves? Aren't there any? What? All right. It's all about the Ring of Brodgar. You must surely have heard the banishment of the evil Aranax. Long, long ago, the le uh, the Age of Legend, an evil wizard came to power. His name was Aranax. In his twisted reasoning, he believed that the elves were a higher order than all other races, so he sought to make them his slaves. Aranax accumulated many elven followers, and it appeared as if he would succeed the ruling of races until the mage named Nazruddin appeared. Nazruddin became the savior of the lesser races, opposing Aranax and his evil tyranny. Great mages of old chose sides, and they fought their armies, or their armies fought an epic battle right where we are standing now. Many died that day. 
As the battle neared its end, a powerful Nazarene called upon all the powers within him and opened a huge rift into which the evil Ar Aranax was cast, banishing him forever from our lands. So powerful was the magic that Nazarene cast that day that it took the remaining great mages to seal the great rift. A ring of Rodger was what they created that day, long ago, when the rift was sealed and the lands was free from Aranax and his evil minions. Quite a tale. Right. Well, I don't think there's anything I can do here. I don't really want to buy anything from me. But the happy at Kenaya. I have uh, you to thank for. What did I do? Oh. You guys moved here. May you have a long life together. Can't thank you enough for restoring my sight. I shall always be in your debt. That is awesome. They moved here. So I'm assuming I need to go to the Tseng Eng then. Simply miss wants the investigation to disclose the information concerning the. Uh... So I gotta talk to uh, Alien. All right. Usually start evil. <laughs> Normally I don't play evil characters, but I need to do that in one of these games. Play one of these. Uh... There's some here I'm supposed to do at the end. Where that matchbook I got. About this matchbook. There we go. Alright, this is one of our matchbooks. The question do you have about it? Well, I found it on a dead man on the IFS Zephyr crash. Did you know him? No, I do not know anyone. Wait. Yes, yeah, so there was one person who could have been. Who? Well, this is a strange tale, really. Late one night, I noticed a matter of a strange light. It sound emanating from the ring. Not long after the ruckus had ceased... A haggard and disheveled man arrived here inquiring about a room for the night. The poor fellow looked quite afright. What was strange about him? He had a quite odd look about him. Gaunt, clean shaven, but his features and clothing of a dwarf. He could not possibly have been a dwarf. No dwarf would uh I have ever heard of would sacrifice his beard to the knife. Even today I cannot say I truly knew his race. How very odd. He had no coin about him. I was about to turn him away when he offered me an exceptionally fine dwarven blade as compensation. Beautiful piece. It was inscribed with initials BMC. I fetched quite a price when I sold it. He gave up since most games are based... Uh -huh. Yeah, I wouldn't mind trying to... Like, uh... like, I played a little bit of Boulder's Gate 3... And I wasn't really evil, but I played a warlock, and I uh, I was just basically an a-hole. <laughs> I figured I'm a warlock. I have to be somewhat of an evil-like character. I was just being... I said everything just pissed everybody off. Well, I sure there must have been a dwarf. Was there anything more? The only other inquiry he made of me was the quickest route to Trant. I told him that it's normally a lengthy journey, but he... But he was in luck. The maiden voyage of the IFS Zephyr would be leaving from Caledon shortly. It would surely be the quickest way to Trant. Not lucky. That brought people aboard that doomed ship. Yeah, the Zephyr was such an incredible tragedy. Oh, yes. I let him know that he would need proper identification to board. He took that type. Be lacking such, so I referred him to a man I had heard of in Caledon. Mr. Razia. Rather a shady character. But it's helpful when it comes to passports. Said he's going to get on the Zephyr. Are you positive? Thank me. I went to his room, and he woke the next morning. He was gone. He did not say a word. He just left. Ah, uh, well, I told you he was a strange one. Anyway, that was the only person I know that would have been uh, on that cursed flight. Thanks for the info. Wonder if he was in that room that I could not open. Try it again. I, 
I don't know if I have room to carry any of that. Creature Compendium by Sir Maxwell the Third. We're gonna take people like me to stop evil despite it all costs. Yeah. Say that well. I'm assuming we're gonna go back to Caledon. I think we gotta probably talk to Lillian and Razia. the quickest way out of town here. Also, um, let you know, I'm maybe, maybe uh, tomorrow night I'll stream. Depends how I feel and how busy I am. Might. I get bored. I get bored. All right, so let's uh, go back to Caledon. Oh, okay. I'm assuming that's what I need to do, right? Yeah, there's Lillian. Let's find out Mingrad Village Dark Elves. Okay. And report back to Raven. I don't know if I need to go to Raven with next or the thing N or whatever the heck the name of it is. <laughs> also, I think. And can't you in uh, Pathfinder, Wrath of the Righteous, be an evil character? I think you can. Alright, so she'll be sleeping. Uh, we'll wait till morning. We'll see if I can sell anything. I don't know if we can. Really gonna save it though and see if I can steal anything in here. Um, you can do it. Oh, I jammed it. A barter? Uh, I don't really know. I can have anything to sell him. Let's see. What is it that you want? Let's go buy those. You won't buy that. Uh, some of them, eh, I don't know if he'll buy that either. Find out. Nope, no need. Alright, yeah, you're gonna be like that, aren't you? What is it that you... Uh, these you might buy, though. Nope. Trade. Pound, pound, bow. Got nobody used bow, so no point in getting that. Alright. Let's see, talk to Lillian here. Just talk through, through the wall, I guess.
For a moment, I need to talk to you about the book and display case. Book of Durin's Truth, ancient dwarven tome, I believe. It's one of Victor's most prized possessions. For sale? No. Alright. I have to wait for you to uh, I was going to wait for you to sleep, but this lady doesn't leave, does she? Um, you know about Rosenborough and the gift shop? Well, he'd been there once. Victor and I traveled there to visit the grave of his father. I've never been there since. Small town, rather boring. Here, I'll show you where it's at. Hmm. I'm not sneaky. So I'm pretty sure I can't get through this lady. So I guess I didn't need to come back and talk to her. Stepped it into wants an investigation to disclose the information concerning the ownership. It's this dude. I wonder if I messed that up. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I... I don't know. I might be bored. I know it's not like I do anything on... New Year's Day anyway. Is this Panari Temple? What is this? Who are you? I don't know what this place is. Yeah. Sweet. And who might you be? I'm an acolyte of Panari Church, studying to become an elder one day. Right now, watching over the temple. First acolyte. Alexander is away. Where's the first acolyte? Not for someone as lowly as me to know where the first acolyte spends his time. I am not to question, only to serve the church in as best way I can. Sure he'll be back soon. Alexander never leaves us alone for long. Anything about the temple? Pray I'm the wrong person to ask. Feel free to look around, but I recommend returning later. All right. I mean, I'll go through here, but I don't know if there's anything for me to do. Feel free to look around. Everything's magically locked. But a time square. That'd be a long ways to go. Hey, we need the Rizza person. I don't know. Are we over here? I remember talking to someone. That name. you mm. nothing else in here Sixty-nine-year-old read the clock analog. Daniel McPherson. I oh, hate the trap, dude.
wishes for me to make haste in my attempt to stop the white church demon. I, I don't know. Eventually you'll need one of your kids to read the text from the from stream and moderate. <laughs> My uh, youngest one says he wants to be a moderator. But he says he wants to do it. Ban people. I don't know where to go for that quest. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> Yeah, it would. Definitely would make me less money. I don't make much money anyway. And not from streams. I don't have near many people watch my streams that I would get any money from. But I don't expect a lot of people to be watching this game. It's an old game. I'm, I'd be surprised if many people watched it. Uh, I might just leave town then. I don't know where else to go. It blows up fast. I'm hoping at some point it does. I really enjoy talking to people in chat. That's why when I played like uh, Medieval Dynasty and stuff like that, it was great. A lot, you know, for me, a lot of people watch that. And I'm trying to debate my next game. It's a toss-up between what I want to play. <laughs> uh, it's a toss-up between what I want to play for next my next game. Um, I'm thinking it's, I want to play Outer Worlds. Homeworld 3? That might be interesting. I played the original Homeworld by when it came out. I haven't played it since. I, uh... I'm thinking of playing Outer Worlds next or Elix. Because in, I think, March 1st, Elix 2 comes out. And I love RPGs. Yeah. Homeworld might be a neat game. The third one. I like the first one. It's just been so long. Ah, uh, so north along the coast. Thing Aang there. I'm wondering if I should go to Tarrant. Tarrant. Actually, let's go back into town. I want to drop some of my stuff off because I'm full. Yeah, see, and I, I was really interesting. Yeah, Obsidian. 